Kind of question for all you guys. You guys are obviously very well uh, respected in your field. You get second opinions all the time. How do you go about telling a patient who comes and sees you for something like this without burying the prior surgeon? The patient asks I, you, why did this happen? I, I tend to be self-deprecating, you know, because this this has happened to me before. Not a lot, but it has happened. And I just explained that a lot of times, you know, based on the patient's anatomy, sometimes you can't get the components in the right position. And sometimes you can have mechanical failure. It's like working on a car. You know, it's not that he probably just had a bad day that day and, you know, maybe some poor decision making, maybe it was exposure, uh, but it's something that happens and it's kind of part and parcel with having a shoulder replacement. Now, ideally, if you do enough of these, this isn't going to happen often, but you, these are cases that at least early on in your career that kind of happen and you end up learning from them. And if he does learn from this case, then he's probably not going to, he's going to pay a little bit more attention to his component positioning next time.